Hello, thank you for joining us for this episode of Recipe Share, a program on AADL TV where we take a few minutes to talk about recipes in a featured category. Today's category is healthier apps. I'm Elizabeth, and as usual, I'm joined today by Katie and Beth to tell us about their recipes. So Beth, why don't you tell us about your appetizer? All righty. Well, I made a white bean dip. Um, this was a recipe, a recipe I got. Now I can't find my link. That always happens. I'll tell you about it later. Um, I use cannellini beans. And uh, it also called for, I forgot, it did have a little tahini. Uh, it, it uses some water. Also the aquafaba, which is the, you know, the liquid from the beans. So you, you drain them, rinse them, and then, but keep the aquafaba. Um, some garlic, salt, pepper, fresh herbs. Um, it's pretty, I mean, it's. I just put it in a blender. Um, also add added a little olive oil. It called for like two tablespoons of lemon. I put in a half a lemon, um, and just mix it up. And then I I put it on a plat with a platter of veggies. It was very healthy, and I only have a picture of that. I also put some um, smoked paprika on it, and I had some fresh dill and some green onions. I put on it too. And uh, that was my dip. Now, interestingly, they said that you could use that in pasta too. It's a pasta sauce. And as it turned out, I brought a salad to lunch to work today. Didn't have dressing. I used it kind of as my dressing, and it 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 worked. So yeah, it was it's good, healthy. Who doesn't love a good bean dip? Um, and like I said, it did include some Greek yogurt, but you could have easily admitted, omitted that and had it vegan. That sounds great, Beth. I almost made a similar recipe. I'm glad I didn't, but I love bean dip. I feel like, as I guess they said in the recipe, it's so versatile. You can dip like veggies, you can dip pita, you can dip crackers, you can throw it on top of, like you put it on a sandwich, you know? Yep. Yum. That sounds yeah. super good. I, what did you feel like the aqua... Baba contrib Baba contributed because I, I have been seeing that more in recipes like save it use it I'm just like well eh. yeah in this case and I let me find that recipe I mean where I got it from but um they said that it, it uses here it is um it makes it creamy extra creamy yes okay. and yeah. they said take it from us with uh the uh from hummus makers that we know so okay. the recipe is plantbasedschool.com plant the plantbasedschool.com white okay. bean and so it's kind of thickens yeah. it a little bit without yeah like yeah okay that makes and sense I never I've never used it for my hummus but I maybe I'll try I just always dump it out I know same have you ever did you know you can make meringue out of it Mm -hmm. I, I had heard that, that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I haven't tried it but because it's like the it's it's vegan yeah so yeah. you can like whip it I've yeah, yeah whip it good yeah wow. <laughs> you can so yeah um well that was my healthy app I was happy to to make something and and basically eat it by myself <laughs> um okay Katie what did you make all right. Well, I will tell you, but I just wanted to comment too that that just I don't know that I've ever had a white bean dip, but it just reminded me of um, hummus. So like, yeah. yeah, that sounds awesome. It sounds like it would just be like a slightly different flavor. So I mean, I know I've seen the recipes before, but I'm like, I can't ever place like tasting that. So I'm interested to give that a try. It sounds good. Yeah, it's it's a lot creamier in the sense the especially okay. cannellini beans are so soft that they just gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Sounds yeah. good. All right. Well, the recipe that I chose is for stuffed avocado salad. And this comes from the user charmy777 on the website food.com. 
and it's really simple but i thought it was really great so this makes uh this makes four servings so you have and pit two avocados i have this recipe because i was just making it for myself so i just used one avocado i have that and then in a bowl you mix together some crumbled feta cheese some chopped tomatoes diced red onion some chopped up fresh parsley um olive oil, red wine vinegar. This called for dried oregano, but I had some fresh in the garden. So I chopped up some of that and put that in there too. You just mix it all together and very simply you just top your avocados with that mixture of basically like a feta kind of sal feta herb salsa basically. Um, and you just serve it like that. Um, I've got a picture here of what it looked like when I first was describing this to my husband. He was like, no, I'm not really sure. I don't really want to eat that, which is why I just made it for myself. But then when he saw the picture, he was like, okay, yeah, I would definitely eat that. And like I was saying how good it is because it did turn out really good. And I ended up just eating it with a spoon and it was really lovely like that and very filling. I could not eat both halves myself. Uh, just as like an appetizer with a lot. Uh, but I also think that this would be really good if you served it with um, those Fritos scoops chips, although it would take it away from the sort of healthy appetizer category. It would be a fun way to serve this as well. Although I think that this would be really lovely if you were to make like a bunch of them and put them on a platter. I think they would look so pretty for a party and each person just takes one of them. Uh, but it also was really nice to just make a small serving of it to use as like a alternative to a side salad. Like if you were having some sort of like Mexican beans and rice or something like that, I think it would like add some nice veg as a side to it and go really well. So I really like this recipe and I'll definitely use this one again. It was nice. So it's half an avocado. Well, top... it's a whole avocado halved. Well, okay. But right. you you half it. Yeah. Have it, and you put your feta dressing on it, salsa, and then you right, and then you're just like scooping and eating it. Yep. Okay. That's right. You totally could use veggies too to if they're soft enough to. Yeah, I think know. if you were going to do that, you might want to score your avocado mm -hmm. first to make it a little bit easier to scoop if you weren't going to use like a spoon or something like that. But you could hmm. totally do that. Absolutely. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Sounds sounds really good. Let's let's not to like. Yep. I feel like it's key to have appropriate ripeness avocados for this one. Oh, definitely. And you know, sometimes that can be hard to tell. So it's a yeah. fancy for sure. But I got lucky this time. All right, Elizabeth, tell us about your healthy app. Yeah, so mine is so simple, you guys. I feel almost bad, but I actually had some like weird trouble with this because. Okay, two reasons. First of all, I realized I don't usually make healthy, that healthy of apps. <laughs> um, second of all, I have shared a lot of my app recipes when I was looking back. So like I have this actually pretty healthy like um, pea, like mint pea dip that I shared several years ago. Um, I have like some of, anyway, I've shared like three or four of the ones that are um, my kind of go-tos for lighter apps and dips. So I was like, eh. Anyway, mm -hmm. So mine's so simple, but it was really good and it does look really nice. And it's for melon prosciutto skewers, um, which is something I've wanted to make for a while. Um, I really like when cantaloupe is in season because I think it is delicious. And this is so easy. You can probably imagine it. You do need a melon baller, which I do have actually. And you just get, you take a cantaloupe, cut it in half and, you know, pull out some balls of cantaloupe. And then on a toothpick, you, I had prosciutto that I just tore a bit. Um, and so you, what I did was a melon ball, a kind of a little bit of folded prosciutto, um, a small um, mozzarella ball, a basil leaf, and then one more cantaloupe ball. So it was kind of like sandwiched between two balls of cantaloupe. And then the prosciutto was nice and salty. And then the basil and the mozzarella all complemented really well. And I drizzled some um, balsamic glaze just over the little platter. 
so good so summery I did think they were best pretty chilled so like I feel like um like I kept them in the fridge until right before serving so I don't think these would be best for like a potluck necessarily because I just felt like the cool like the melon being cold made them particularly good but if you happen to be having people over and you can keep them chilled up until it's time to serve so easy to make so summery so light um I love a skewer too because you just grab it and eat it um so nothing wildly exciting but they were really good and I need to remember to make these more in the summer because it's super tasty um and then I was thinking afterward, I made it, I was so proud, but I was like, I guess that's not that healthy because it has like prosciutto and mozzarella, but it they're small and it did feel light and it's not like a bunch of like gooey cheese and carbs. So I figured it counted and uh, it was really good. Yeah, those, the combination, they look so pretty and prosciutto is so thin that it's really just a little tiny taste. Yeah, it wasn't, it's pretty, yeah, it wasn't a huge amount. I yeah, I'm okay. not I'm not usually a huge fan of prosciutto, prosciutto, but like in um in this combination, in this flavor combination, particularly with the melon and the cheese and the balsamic and the basil, like that all makes it go together for me. And I'm just like every time you set an ingredient, I'm like, yep, yep, that sounds really good. I would eat a bunch of those. <laughs> Yeah, it was good. Uh, I'm glad I, am, I ended up being really happy that that's what I made because um, sometimes simple is simple just works, you know? Yep. All right. Well, I will take us out by saying thank you for watching Recipe Share and be sure to click the link below to look at the event page on AADL.org to find the recipes we talked about and feel free to share your own in the comments. Uh, join us next time on Recipe Share when we will be talking about Cajun cuisine, I believe. I hope that's right. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing what you've been making. So thanks for sharing. Recipe Share, Recipe Share. Share a little recipe